Hi there folks, welcome to a new tutorial called how to make Pong in Java where we will be looking at how to make Pong in Java surprisingly enough. Now this is what you'll get in this first lesson this is what you'll end up with. It's not Pong yet it's just a ball bouncing around the screen but that is pretty much the guts of Pong you know you've got to add the bats and the scoring and stuff uh, but that's um, that's easy compared to doing this really and the reason uh, I always tell people to do to learn Pong even though I've never actually to write Pong I mean even though I've never actually read the code of Pong myself but I have written it many times is just because it's a great example and it demonstrates so many concepts you know it gets it demonstrates graphics moving on the screen it demonstrates game loops uh, while loops if statements and things like that so let's get started now if you're totally new and you don't have the way to uh, write the code and stuff you don't have an IDE integrated development environment then you can go to netbeans.org and grab this one from here for free and that's the one I'm going to be using for this tutorial as well so once you've downloaded and installed that load it up uh, you might see something different than me because I've got lots of projects and stuff but go to new Oops. Go to new project. We'll, we'll just call. We'll make an ordinary uh, Java application here, and then we'll move forward and we'll call this my cool pong game. We'll finish. Now it generates a skeleton of an application for you. And there you go, my cool pong game. And just to be clear here, I'm not going to write this game in the object-oriented sense and confuse you with elegance or whatever they want, you want to call it. I'm going to do the most simple and basic one, and then in the next tutorials that follow, I will develop it, develop the, the scoring and, and things like that. And then eventually, it, I will show you how to convert it into true object-oriented uh, code that you could, you know, submit to a games company and they wouldn't think it was weird or whatever just the professional route right so the main method is where everything begins in Java and I'm not going to go into why it's called public static void main right now that is largely irrelevant this code that it makes for you here is, is basically what they call boilerplate code you know you don't need to worry too much it gets generated for free and you don't need to learn it I couldn't type that from memory probably you know first time after 20 years so you don't have to worry about that but um, you do need to type a few things in here just to get the uh, to get started and like some of this is boilerplate code too you can google it and you can search for it um, you don't you don't necessarily have to remember everything in coding you know as long as you understand the theories and the general commands anyway so what we want is a J frame right a J frame is uh, simply a window in uh, in Java, so we'll call this JFrame frame. So we're declaring a type JFrame, and we're going to give it a name frame. We could call that anything. Actually, we'll call it my frame, just so you know that I could be calling it anything. And we'll go equals new JFrame, which is basically you declare it, you give it a name, and then here you initialize it. So with the equals sign there uh, is is saying that that value there, my frame, which is a type of J frame, a window, is now taking the value of a new J frame. Otherwise, it would be an empty J frame. It's a bit like a, a, a human that is dead, you know, or a, or a person that is not born. This, once you make something like that, it will, won't work until you put equals new and then the type again. That constructs it for you hope I'm explaining this alright. I have been uh, coding already today for about 10 hours and I thought this would be a good time to do this anyway. Right, so actually the JFrame takes uh, some text as well for the title, so we'll call that uh, My Awesome Pong Game. And now if you hit uh, this green button, it'll try and run your app. Well, make sure you've selected your, uh, your project there, My Cool Pong Game and try and run it right and you'd expect a window to appear now it's not worked because well that's my uh, weird output setup 
it's not worked because we haven't imported the JFrame. That's why that little line there is telling us not that it's misspelled, but that it doesn't isn't recognised. So you hover over and you put and you, you hold Alt Enter, and it gives you suggestions. Add import for Java X dot swing dot JFrame. That is clearly the answer. That's your Java ordinary library, Java X. Uh, Java fr JFrame is part of a library called Swing, which is just a set of stuff that makes windows appear. Oh great, so it'll work now, no red lines. We run, but what happens is, yes it runs, but nothing happens because the program just ends. Now why is that? Well, we need to actually um, be able to see this JFrame, right? So we'll go my frame dot set visible and then we put true. Simple enough. I want, I want it to be visible, and if you put false there, that would hide it if it was already showing. So now, when we run the game, or the program at least, what do we get? Oh, in the corner here, look, a little window has popped up. It says my awesome Pong game, but it's too small, isn't it? That? Right, okay, let's give it some size. And we'll do that before it's visible, just so you don't notice anything happen. Set size. And these are all, if you just press a dot here next to my frame and wait, actually NetBeans will bring up all of the commands available, so you don't need to even remember them. So you can think, oh, well, I know it was set something. You can type set, and then you think, well, must be size, I guess, S, and then there it is, comes up, and there's a few versions of it. You can pass a dimension, or you can pass a width and a height. Well, we understand width and height a lot easier than dimension. I do, anyway. So we'll do that. And it's asking for two integers. Integer just being a whole number. One, two, three, four. You know, not as opposed to um, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. Um, so, what do we want to give it? Well, we'll just give it a standard resolution of 1024 times 768. That's what the old monitors used to be. And now, when we run it, we should see a window of that size. Awesome. Right, there's no ball in it. But actually we need to do a couple more things just to uh, we need to do one more thing just so it closes properly. I mean it's closing right there but if you would run this on your desktop it might not react to the X being pressed in the corner, right? So we'll just do this just in case, right? And, you, and I remember this as set uh, default close operation, so I don't have to remember it, enter, and then JFrame contains a constant called exit on close, which tells it to exit on close, when the close operation happens. Now you don't need to worry about that, as long as you're generally following what that does, you don't have to memorize that. Okay, so that means it will close when we click the X, but how do we get a game going? Well, that's a good point. What we need to do is um, make a game loop. Now, a game loop is basically something like this. So when the when the window has appeared, and you want you want what you want is for it to repaint or redraw constantly forever. I mean, the user won't know that's what's happening. That's just animation on computers, but that's really what's happening. It's just it's like a dog chasing its tail. So to do that you do while true. That means that anything in here ever will happen forever until the end of time or this app is quit or I have a power cut. So uh, well let's just put a message in there first so we can see it. Right? System.print.ln um, Hello is there anybody out there and this will happen forever, and I'll prove that now. So I'm pressing play, we see our screen. Now, the output window for you will be docked at the bottom of, of NetBeans, presumably, but I have it moving around because I'm cool. Put it on another window. There you go, look. Is anybody out there? And that's uh, happening. I'll bring the uh, scroll bar in. You can see it's moving up there. It's just happening.